Okay, we're gonna look at something that's got three different names. It means pretty much the exact thing, same thing. Uh, valence number, ionic charge, combining capacity, they all refer to the amount of electrons an, an atom is gonna have to gain or lose to become stable. So let's write that down. All of these things refer to the number of electrons that must be gained slash lost to become stable. And remember, everything wants to become stable. They would rather be stable above everything else. So we're going to have to track down the number of electrons that you're going to have to gain or lose to become that stable. So I just want to use something simple, okay? I'm going to go with lithium. Lithium's really, really easy to draw on the periodic table. You have three protons and lithium, what's lithium? Let's just double check on my periodic table here. Lithium is 6.9, which means it's seven. So seven subtract three, means I got four neutrons. And that is going to be one, two in my first orbit, one in my second orbit, there. Okay, that's my Bohr model for neutron, or sorry, for, for lithium. What I wanna do, I'm gonna prove that whole thing that shows that this lithium atom is neutral. So if I look, I've got three protons. The number of protons equals the number of electrons, so that means I've got three electrons. Three positives, three negatives, zero or neutral, okay? I want to show my ionic charge, my combining capacity. I want to know how many of these electrons I'm going to have to gain or lose to become stable. Well, if you look at this thing, this has got one electron in this orbit here. One electron in a whole outer orbit that can hold eight in total is keeping lithium neutral, but it's really, really unstable. It's got one electron in here. So what it would like to do is it would like to get rid of this electron. So one electron is gonna take off. If I redraw this thing as having three protons, four neutrons, there's my nucleus. And all I've got now is this and this. Well, then I can redraw my number of positives, restate them three positives, and now I only have two electrons, so that is an overall charge of one proton, which is one positive. So my valence number, my ionic charge, or my combining capacity for lithium is one plus. Now, you gotta watch out, because you could be told or you could be asked, what's the number of valence electrons? Well, that's a totally different question. Number of valence electrons is the number of electrons in the outermost shell, which is one. So your number of valence electrons is one electron. Your valence number is one plus. Your ionic charge, or your ionic number, one plus. Your combining capacity, one plus. That's for lithium. That's for one of the ones that's on the right-hand side, of the, or sorry, left-hand side of the periodic table. This is a metal. Metals, you'll notice, will tend to always be positive. So you can double check that on anything you'd like. I'm gonna do also now a simple one on the right-hand side of the periodic table. I'm gonna do nitrogen. Nitrogen is a non-metal. And let's have a look at nitrogen. Well, first of all, I want to know how many protons it's got. It's got seven protons. How many neutrons does it have? Well, that is 14 subtract seven, seven neutrons. So my nucleus looks like that. If I've got seven protons, that means I have to fit in seven electrons. So there's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Okay. There is the number of protons and electrons. Let's make my neutrality statement. Seven protons, seven electrons. That means I'm neutral. I want to become stable, or it wants to become stable. So if you look, you've got three spaces here. You've got a space here, you've got a space there, and you've got a space here. All three of those spaces will take electrons into them to become stable. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to redraw this thing over here. I've got seven protons, seven neutrons. I've got two in this orbit. I've got two here, one here, one here, one there. We've got these boxes that I inserted here and now I want to fill those boxes with electrons. You'd be best off to use a different color pen. I've got red here. I'm not sure if red shows up very well on this, but there's red. I make my statement again about charge. I've got seven protons, but now if you look, I've got my original seven electrons plus three, which means I've got 10 electrons. Overall, I've got three, which means that for nitrogen, I have an overall three negative. There you go. There's two um, ionic charges for you. Remember, you're writing this as one plus, not positive one, and three minus, not negative three. Okay? These are two straightforward ones. This is a metal, this is a metal, this is a non-metal. We still have some tricky ones to do, so we're going to do two tricky ones, and then that should be about all the uh, bore models that we'll need to ever draw again. So there you go.